In this video, we'll be installing a subfeed breaker on a 250 amp NF panel board. The first step in the installation process is to remove the end barrier from the panel board. Next, we'll install the rail extensions. The splice is a smaller part. You insert the splice into the rail from the end, and you align the small hole with the small hole and the large hole with the large hole, and then set the rail extension on top. Then repeat on the other side. Next, we'll place the subfeed breaker mounting pan. And this goes on the first hole on the rail extension that is connected to the splice. We'll connect this using the two longer screws from the mounting pan. Next, we'll use four of the small screws from the mounting kit to secure the mounting pan to the rail extension. And to secure the rail extension to the panel board. Next, we'll install the neutral lug. Now we'll install the hard bus connectors to the panel board. Don't tighten them just yet, leave them slightly loose. Next, we'll install the phase insulators. There are two in the kit. These go between A phase and B phase and C phase and B phase. Now we're ready to install the breaker. The breaker will come with lugs on both ends. We need to remove lugs from one end and install terminal nut kits. The terminal nut kit is included in your kit. The lug assembly is removed by placing the flat bladed screwdriver into the slot and prying it out. Now we can install the terminal nut kit. The terminal nut kit consists of a nut on the top side, a plastic base on the bottom side, and a curved front which goes into the breaker. inserts just like this and snaps into place. Now we can install the breaker. Slowly walk the breaker onto the hard bus connectors until they align. The two phase insulators that we previously installed insert into the notches in the end of the breaker. It should now be properly aligned. Now we'll secure the breaker. We'll use the two long screws that came in the kit. To align the breaker with the mounting hole, slightly wiggle the breaker until the screws drop into place in the screw finder feature. Now we can secure the hard bus connectors to the breaker. We'll utilize the three screws that came in the terminal nut kit. Now we can tighten the, the connectors for the hard bus connectors to the bus bars. Now we can install the dead front mounting brackets. The 
different mounting bracket has two holes, one on each end. One's larger, that's a through hole. That's the one that will attach to the rail. The hole that you'll use is this hole, the one closest to the mounting pan. The top of the bracket should be facing towards the inside of the panel board, just like the other brackets. Next, we'll torque all the connections. Torque all the hardware per the information provided in the instruction sheets. Next, we'll install the subfeed breaker cover. To do this, we'll remove the small closing cover on this end of the dead front. You can reuse the two screws you just removed or use two new ones from the kit. 